Hi, everybody, and my dear students. First of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Kabilova Madina Serikpolova. I am English teacher. I am work Agrotechnical College. It is situated in Almaty region, the city of Taldokurgan. Unit number 5, group 173-191-122. Theme of the lesson, learners read a non-fiction text. Our learning objectives divided into two groups. One, number 1, evaluate and respond constructively to feedback from others. And second, understand speaker viewpoints and the extent of ex explicit, explicit agreement between speakers on a range of general and curricular topics. Okay, last lesson, I explain you the different types of books. And please remember, a classic, a detective story, a love story, an adventure story, a folk lead, a short story, a humorous story, a horror story, a travel book, a novel, a historical novel, a war novel, an adventure novel, a romance, a fairy tale, a science fiction book, a biography, an autobiography. Yes, you know it, because uh, these uh, types of books I introduced um, the last lesson. Okay, if you are ready, please, all of you, uh, watch the video about Daniel Defoe. After the video, uh, we, have a, we will have a task. Daniel Defoe, the author of Robinson Crusoe, was born in London on September 13th, 1660. As a young man, he studied to become a Presbyterian minister, but he abandoned the clergy in favor of making his fortune as a merchant. Defoe traveled widely and enjoyed some success until declaring bankruptcy in 1692. His interest in politics led him to become a political writer. But then he became a journalist and a pamphleteer. His first political pamphlet was published in 1683. Politics and religion were closely connected, and he tackled these subjects fearlessly. On more than one occasion, his writing landed him in jail. His political writings appeared in his journal, The Review, published from 1704 to 1713. The Review started as a weekly, but eventually published three times a week. Defoe's interests in religion, politics, and trade come together seamlessly in Robinson Crusoe. Themes appear in implicit and explicit ways. Defoe is considered the father of the English novel, and Robinson Crusoe was the first novel written in English to use the prose narrative form. The boundaries between nonfiction and fiction were blurry here, and Defoe draws on the conventions of travel literature, memoirs, and conversion narratives. Throughout Robinson Crusoe, Defoe's character moves back and forth between narration and his own journal entries. The novel earned Defoe immediate and international fame, and two sequels were published, but neither achieved the popularity of his first novel. Other works he published include Moll Flanders and A Journal of the Plague Year. Both were published in 1722. Defoe married Mary Tuffley in 1684, and the couple had eight children, two of whom died before adulthood. Defoe himself passed away in London on April 24th, 1731. Film adaptations have been made of Robinson Crusoe, and it also inspired many different films and television series, including Lost, Castaway, The Martian, and Gilligan's Island. Though it was published three centuries ago, Robinson Crusoe remains a popular and beloved novel to this day. Okay, you watched the video about Danielle before. 
and his autobiography and his works. And uh, uh, please ask and answer the questions. We have three questions. Where and when was born Daniel Defoe? Second, when was his first novel published? Third, when and where was he died? I will give you only two minutes to prepare the task. Okay, are you ready? Okay, good, thank you. If you are ready, let's go to the next task. Yes, it is a Robinson Crusoe. Uh, it is an adventure story. Yes, the Wasa of Daniel Defoe. And you know it, this uh, book, Russian and Kazakh. Yes, and also you watched the video. Okay, if you are ready, let's go to the next. Let's practice. We have only five questions about this book. Why did crows run away from home? Second, where was crows going when his sheep was wicked and why? Number three, where did he end up? Number four, who is Friday? Number five, how long did he stay on the island? Be quick, answer the question on the book. The, uh, the, no, uh, the novel of Daniel Defoe's work. I will give you only five minutes. Okay, if you are ready, thank you. Okay, your home task, exercise 6, page 166, student's book. See you soon. The next lesson. Goodbye.